With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn how to design stunning floral arrangements from Maurice Harris, improve your writing skills from Judy Bloom, or learn how to train your dog from Brandon McMillan, <coughs> Cheyenne and Zach. Masterclass is accessible on your phone, web, or a smart TV. It offers classes on a wide variety of topics. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long, so it's convenient. Members can explore at their own pace, and each class is supported by downloadable materials, class guides, recipes, or more. You can find everything available at masterclass.com. I highly recommend you check it out. This holiday, give one annual membership and get one free. Go to masterclass.com slash TLC today. That's masterclass.com slash TLC. Terms apply. Ooh, that sounds like music to my ears. Anyone not know what that is? That's another sell on Shopify, the platform trusted by millions of entrepreneurs to create their online store and so much more. With Shopify, you'll customize your online store to your brand, discover new customers, and build the relationships that will keep them coming back. When you're ready to take your idea to the world, do it with Shopify, the commerce platform powering millions of businesses down the street and around the globe. Now it's your turn to try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash thinkloud, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash thinkloud to start selling online today. That's shopify.com slash thinkloud. It's time to ditch the chemicals with Caraway Homes' non-toxic cookware and bakeware collections so you can make healthier cooking a piece of cake. I have a ton of products from Caraway and I absolutely love them. All sets come equipped with easy access storage solutions so that no sacking is required. Gone are the days of misplacing your lids. I'm telling you guys, the storage solutions are a lifesaver. This only happens once a year. Caraway's Cyber Season event is almost here. Save up to 20% on all Caraway products, including their internet famous non toxic cookware set. For the first time ever, you can save on Caraway's food storage, tea kettle, and mini cookware. This exclusive deal won't last long. Make sure you shop your favorite colors and products while you still can. Visit CarawayHome.com to take advantage of their cyber season event and store up to 20% off your next purchase of non-toxic cookware. This deal won't last long, so visit CarawayHome.com to shop all their incredible products for up to 20% off this holiday season. Caraway. to the Think Loud Crew podcast. Three moms getting real with parenthood, relationships, and the WTF moments of our daily lives. My name is R. Kyle Lynn, and today we have a very special guest. I'm gonna let my other co-host, well, I don't know why it came out like that. <laughs> co-host. Is she gonna call us hoes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Co-host. I mean, hey. Co-host. Too early in the My co-host. Well, shoot, after the last episode, I don't know what to call us because we were all on a, or the last two episodes. That was two was episodes ago. Two episodes ago, mm. we were on our little, uh, you know, frisky kitty Convo. The last two episodes, we realized that Shannon has a petite vagina. Cheyenne and is fat mom. I have a poofy one, apparently. Really? I love that. Like fat versus small. I love. Yes. I'm and just... you know what I was thinking about, Cheyenne? What? <laughs> I'm scared to talk. Everybody okay. has a different penis. <laughs> You're on one. So we were talking about vaginas and how they yeah. all look different. And then I went to a wee spa. So I'm like, Cheyenne. I'm not the only one with a peep vagina. Shannon was like, and there's many different. <laughs> I was hey, hey, vagina sis. <laughs> oh my god! I was thinking about it. Penises do not look the same I've either. So the next time we have a male same. guest, we will make sure to ask them how it feels to be standing in a room with other men, knowing that your penis is different from theirs, <laughs> or if you even think about it at all. But maybe yes. you should be. Or, like, or maybe you shouldn't be. Or maybe be. you shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, 
You see movie I mean, scenes sometimes when they're all in the gym and they'll be like smacking each other with the towels like after practice, like oh showers. But it's like real life. Do y'all do that for real? Hust. I feel like it. Is. Football you think players? Are you kidding face me? Right now, I have no idea. You think football players really are like hey, yeah? <laughs> no, yes, they. Are. <laughs> We got so sidetracked so quickly. (laughs) We had a game game plan, y'all. Okay, introduce yourself to our people. Hello, I am Jamie Dubose. I am a talk show host, and I'm honestly just excited to be talking with you guys today. (laughs) Aw, we're excited to have you. I know what show you're on, but I'm going to act dumb. What show do you talk on? I am a talk... No, I know. It's a weird thing. No, you're right. right. Talk on. That's all I do, essentially. Um, It's it's a show (laughs) called The Mix. It's on Fox's streaming service. It's with me, Zonique, Romeo Miller, Anton Peoples, and Jazz Anderson. And we just do a bunch of fun things. We just talk shit, to be honest. Um, We interview a lot of artists, like actors, singers, rappers. um, And it's a great time. I can't say it's anything too serious. We're just literally there. We go live, have a great time, and it's I love it. Do you, you guys so film you in guys person? Film, I was gonna say. No, we did it in Zoom, but okay. we are going in a studio, you know, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Soon. Soon. Uh, top of the year. And so that'll be super exciting. I'm a little nervous because all of us in the same room might be an issue. Um, it's like, you know, the yeah. same yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. we got no, sidetracked so quick. <laughs> but it's that exciting. Gets it's the, the chemistry is completely different. Like, it is. We know each other. Like, each like each the other. chemistry is there, but it's like when you're together Shut in person. <laughs> You know, we could smell each other's farts and hear all the little weird sounds yes. we do. Sorry. She's like, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 Why like, am I personal here? level <laughs> changes really quick. And you just yes. feel people's energy vibe. Like You say all this and you're getting on a flight back to D.C. Yeah, but then I'm coming back <laughs> to film with y'all in person. Wait. Wait, oh, we're gonna wait. Wait, no, let's get into it. How, no, no, no. So, how <laughs> did you? She's like, get into that, oh, sis. Yes. How did you get into the. Talk show. Talk show. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to lie. Fell in my lap completely. Mm-hmm. I was invited by my friend's mom who had a show on the same uh, streaming service just to oh, be nice. congratulated cool. as a 2020 grad because I am only 20 in college right now. Oh, wow. Um, and Girl, we so, can even go get drinks legally. We can. No, we can. I love this. Said, no, I'm so proud of you. Like, Thanks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, I'm having a great time. And so oh, anyway, yeah. long story short. The producer from my show saw my segment and was like, hey, come test for this. And I was like, okay, just to say I did it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, we want you on the show. And I was like, are you sure? Me? <laughs> no, really. I'm like, do you sure you made the right choice, babe? And they're like, yep. And I three years that. later, we're still doing it, and I love it. You've been doing uh, this for three, three years? years? Yes. Oh, Wait, so did you well, start? 2020. I don't know. What year are we in? Well, did you start in high school? Like right after I graduated, like two months oh, after I graduated, wow. we started the show. So That's back end of 2020. That's super dope. I so just fun. got straight into it. Yeah. Literally straight into it. And I I loved it. I didn't even want to do it, to no. be very I didn't even want to go to the audition. I was like, I'm not even, this is a waste of you my time. You said there was another, they saw you in another segment. What was that? That was just, uh, it was my friend's mom. And she was like, we're having high school graduates because of COVID yeah. um, mm-hmm. to come on and be celebrated. And so that's all I did was go on there and talk about my experience in COVID and talk mm. about how like high school and all that. Huh. And how I'm excited for college. I go to USC currently and I'm graduating early. So it was like, Going in as a sophomore. You. Thank you. Wait, what is it? Go Trojan. Tight on. Um, <laughs> but yeah. You guys. <laughs> okay, let's rewind. Since I feel like high school was recent. Yeah. Yeah. How was your high school experience? Oh wait, where are you from? I'm from here. Born and raised in LA. Cool. Uh, the Valley. Okay. Yeah. Love. Where did you go to school? If you know. I went to Sierra Canyon High School, which now is well known, which is weird. Um, <laughs> they have like a good basketball team. Mm-hmm. So it's, it was pretty fun. It was There was a lot going on, actually. I am currently writing a book about my experience just because it oh. was a predominantly white mm-hmm. school. And so it was more so like me and my mom were like, how can we help kids, young kids walking yeah. into all white spaces? Yes. Specifically, you know, children of color and be able to be your authentic self and not feel like you have to fit into whatever mold that your classmates are trying to put you in. Mm-hmm. We love that. And so it's like kind of experiencing that. And even in college, you guys see yeah. Do you need any more testimonies? Please, no, literally, please. We've, we've got we're great all private school we kids. We're all private yeah. school kids I walking into you. fourth through 12th grade. Really? One of one in terms of like having a black mom, black father. Love. There was another girl in my class who was biracial, but it's like we just... just yep. It was just a disconnect. Yeah. So it's um, 
I'm I'm happy that you're writing about your experience. You. Yeah. Would you say you um, had like a good experience or a bad experience or like how would you title it? It was a mix of both. I mm-hmm. like there were great times where I felt like I was being myself and people received it well and there were times where I was called a nigger on campus and yeah. the Seriously. and the teachers were just like they what do you want me to do thing? about that literally. And yeah. so it was it's a little bit of both. It's about you know, there are good moments where I felt supported and mm-hmm. then there's bad moments where I had to support myself, yeah. which made it a good moment because now I know, you know, I don't need someone to be like, oh, that was wrong. Let me help you. Yeah. I can stand up for myself. Right, right. And that's what I'm trying to teach, you know, the younger, the younger kids. Yeah. Yeah. So you said you and your school. mom. So I take it your mom is heavily involved in yeah, everything she, like our mom. probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she is. She's actually the DEI director, the diversity, inclusion equity. and equity. Yes. yes. Uh, director at my old high school. And so Go she, mom. I know, that's that's a a shout out to her. That is that, a really tough position. Does she handle just high school, not the lower school She campus? does both. The lowers, because uh, my school is early kindergarten through 12. And so she take, looks over the entire school um, on oh, the that. board. And she, you know, we have to talk to families who that's deal difficult. with issues. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I was facing when I was in high school because they're still happening. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we have to figure out why is that still happening in the yeah. year of 2022. It shouldn't be. <laughs> at, at least all. I feel like now there's more information so That's that true. you can be better equipped. When I was there, it was completely new. like I don't want to say it was new, but like there are studies that are out now that like have that outline these things. There right. are doctors who actually study the psychological effects. Like. Yes. I honestly feel like I suffer from race-based post-traumatic stress. Yeah, like, and I it do, affects yeah. me in my daily life. Like, I'm still unlearning on the on a daily, weekless, weekly, like monthly basis, like yes. things, so that I can be b- more comfortable with myself and the person who I know who I am. Right. That may have had to retreat due to certain like things being said or yes. not knowing, like, hey, my voice matters here, or like, hey, your opinion, you're right. You're right. actually right. Like, no, yeah. I'm sorry, you're right. The books that we have l- been learning from are old, archaic. Yes. They maybe have, like, I'm, I remember, so recently I've been moving. I went through my old history books. I keep all my books. I'm a book Whoa. weirdo. Oh, my God. They're on Give one of my books for slavery. It's literally a two-page, it's two pages out of a book this thick. And it talks about how even how some of the slaves even enjoyed it because it provided security. Excuse me? What? Yes. And that got published? This is and what I'm And it was taught? And this is what I'm learning at Westridge, like, back in, wow. how old am I? I'm 33, it so. It said that they enjoyed it? I'm going to go find it, because I still have, oh, I just packed all my stuff back in my storage unit. But That's when I crazy. go through it again, because it was like. like Kanye West, something he was, would say. It was really, really bizarre. <laughs> like, So, like, yeah, I'm happy that you are writing about it and you're able to Thank articulate you. it. It took me a long time to really <clears throat> come to terms it's with hard. my experience yeah. because it was like oh wait this is what i experienced <clears throat> like some of it you some of it is a form of abuse in my opinion absolutely um and it's not just from the kids it's the teachers yep. and it's the parents and it's yes. the grandparents and yes. it's uh you just see so many it, you see a lot but i would say that not to cut you off okay. touring like writers into my daughter's in kindergarten and we went through the whole touring of the schools private mm-hmm. schools mm-hmm. i looked at um a public school i looked at i, I tried i looked at charter schools like i did yeah. my realm of mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. i would say when i looked at sierra canyon it was the most diverse out of it is. all, all the of the other yeah. schools <laughs> absolutely and diversity comes in all different colors, backgrounds, backgrounds of this season. Absolutely. So I feel like when people hear like a black person say diverse, they think I'm locking a room and looking just for like a black person. Mm-hmm. Right. Which isn't the case. Mm-hmm. You're just looking oh. for like everybody and diversity comes yeah. in many different it's forms. It's socioeconomic. Yes. Right. yes. Everything. And yeah. I would say that it was at least I only looked at the lower school campus and it was diverse. It is. At, uh, mm-hmm. 10, 15 years ago, it, it was, was not. Got it. And so it's seeing that progression. It's great. And that's why like, I love my high school. How did we get school. there? And it was, I'm not even going to lie, it was athletics. It was originally looking at black children as like, oh, my God, you put them on the team, right. put our school on the map. No one hates my high school. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they were like, wow, this is actually enriching our school environment, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I, you know, literally, I they can't have something believe it. They have more to offer than, than bouncing a ball or no. hitting something or kicking something. Like, I think it's, that was just, it's uh, a society thing. And it I was, is a society thing, And so thing, I'm glad to sure. see, because like now I know my high school is bringing in like, 
black students that don't come from privileged backgrounds that mm -hmm. couldn't afford to come to the school mm -hmm. regularly, not even if they're an athlete, just let me put you on a great opportunity. And that's something that I love to Get see. Good edu education. Yeah. Yes, and I want to keep seeing that not even just in my high school but like across the country across the, yeah. so if my if i could write a little book to just inspire one school to be like you know what we should implement mm -hmm. something like that like that is what i want yeah. when did you start That's writing good. the book oh years ago i've yeah, just because yeah. i was like that kid who i always just wrote stuff down because mm -hmm. i never liked to talk about it i was like maybe oh, i'm in the I wrong so it's like you a know journal type of thing. it is so it originally started as a journal and i was reading it and i was like you could actually see like a pattern where mm -hmm. it was like, you know, the shifts were happening. And I was like, yeah. I could make this like a story. I love yeah. that. That's good. That's good. And that's really Keep where writing. it came Keep from. So you said you're graduating from college early. Yes. How in does May. that work? Um, I took a lot of AP classes in high school. So I got to get out of a lot of the GE courses in college. Yeah. And so I got to go in as a sophomore and I graduate oh, wow. in May. Yeah. Wait, like excited. next year, May? Yeah, like yes. up this upcoming 2023. Up You'll see me walking across the stage with my diploma. I'm ready to go. What did she you said? I'm out of there. I'm and done. Like, I what hope you, you include studying? that in your book too, just like I your do. journey, because I feel like a lot of people don't know that is an option. Like mm -hmm. they think, yes. oh, AP, it's hard, but it's like, no, this can actually help save you money in the long run. Yes. You can test out of your classes yes. and you just get that extra edge. Like challenge yourself. Because sure the way it wasn't built for AP classes girl so, listen, <laughs> I had neither my was good I. four years of college okay <laughs> me and AP it looked like PA to me I was the fuck is that what happened? <laughs> <Papa>. <laughs> no, I, I, I give you that that's awesome yeah, that's no, yeah and these colleges really try to break your pockets just to get try some, they do <laughs> they do no they do and that's why I was like I'm not let you do that you're not getting mm -hmm. an extra year out of me for no reason girl Sarah <laughs> Cannon is breaking pockets <laughs> That was my mom's pocket. That wasn't me. So I was like, <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Love you. But like, yeah, Not now that it's me. Oh my God. Right. How did you do this? I've never seen this like this. I oh, my God. That's why I'm like, love you. love you. Mine look like spider legs. There's something weird happening. We're making hearts with our fingers. It's not working. Guys. <laughs> so what are you getting your degree in? Communication. And I'm oh, going. Oh, I did that. Really? Yeah. At, um, where did I go to school? Hampton. Hampton. Where'd like, I go? I love how she knew before you Get did. Her. She Get went her. with me, basically. Love. Not really, but she was there a lot. People thought like I was it? a student. Really? I T. wasn't. So <laughs> I actually went there because everyone was like, why did you go so far? And I was like, I was trying yeah. to find the black people. Yes. I so went bad. to a predominantly white high school. I wanted to go and be surrounded by people that looked like me. Yeah. Um, did I like it? I did. <laughs> It was like a <laughs> that <laughs> laugh. She said, I uh, uh. "Culture shocks come yeah, from all angles." It was all like a angles. culture shock. I didn't realize that like colorism was a thing. Listen, I thought I was gonna walk on campus and it was gonna be like black people and we like all hug yeah. and get along. No, they were like mad. I was like. Light skin, yeah. I'm from LA. It just didn't really mix well. I rode a skateboard to class and I knew how to roll everybody's weed. And this was like back when no. people didn't, girls no, normally yeah. didn't know how to roll weed. So, so I was I like was the cool hippie weed. girl. <laughs> so I kind of got in a lot of fights because yeah. everyone was like, you're too relaxed. Cheyenne also could gonna cook. Wait, no Shy <laughs> could cook also. So yeah. like, oh, so you were just like a triple, quadruple. Like, it just, it just, just wasn't like working. You. Yeah, and then like my, my freshman year, I made a pack with me and my vagina. We weren't gonna give it up. <laughs> me and my so <laughs> it just, I love the conversation. Yeah, we had to talk it out. No, yeah. Uh, people were mad. I believe it. They were mad because they'd be like, "You're a hoe," and I'm like, "Who the fuck?" <laughs> right. <laughs> who did I? Who did I fuck? Name one person. Me. Let me know. We're the um, car facts. Because we had to talk. Because you know <laughs> we are good. Right. So I had a great college <laughs> experience. There were a lot of things that I could have left out. Yeah. But I think it taught me a lot. I went in for broadcast journalism. I thought mm -hmm. I wanted to be a news reporter. And then I realized quickly that a lot of news reporters aren't writing their own mm. script and right. that someone else is writing it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I don't want to do that because I wanted to write it. I, I thought that went hand in hand. I was a little naive. I changed to public relations, which is still under communications, yeah. and I had a lot of fun. I love that. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing law school after this. Oh, so I'm like, girl. Wow. In your I pockets know. or in mom's pockets? I'll do my pockets. You know, mom, <laughs> mom's done enough. I'm law gonna, school. I'm going to try my best. Yes. So we need Where are you looking? Where did you go? What kind of law <clears throat> do you want oh, to study? God. Listen. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So first it was criminal, right? Because I'm like, yeah. they're putting away too many black people in prisons. Yeah. That's yes. the modern day slavery. Like, how mm -hmm. do we fix that system? 
then I got into entertainment and I realized <laughs> how many criminals are in entertainment. Entertainment. And yeah. mm-hmm. those NDAs, babe, those lawyers make bank mm-hmm. for 15 minutes of writing up a little NDA so y'all can say you didn't fuck. Are you kidding me? Mm. That's what I want to do. She said, <laughs> she said, that's where the money is at. That's where the that's money is at. To be honest, the older I get, like I, like, I so respect people who are like, oh, this is like my mission to save things. But yeah. like right now when you're young, get the check <laughs> that supports your vision yes. so that when you get in your 30s and 40s, yes. you can sit back and put your money where your mouth is. Love. So take those little 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, you fought too? Oh, I'm going to go pillow talk with myself later by myself. <laughs> um, take those I'm little 15 bed, minute like, checks. Like, I know who fucked. Like, damn. <laughs> I'd probably have like some secret board and be like, ooh, this girl's the hot That's what I'm ticket. <laughs> no, there's a lot of money in entertainment. Yes. Absolutely. There's a lot of money with the lawyers. I know. And John Rose, you make a shit ton of money. Yeah. Thank you if you're watching this. Thank you. <laughs> my lawyer. <laughs> you get on my fucking nerves. That's what I'm saying. Get on my nerves. Mm. Where do you I get go that to bill and I'm like, God damn, what did you do? <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> no, literally. Read, you read 40 something. pages of craziness. Right, that. And those 40 pages hurt. Even just to review a contract is a couple G's, and you didn't yes. even do You just read it? I know I was. And, you go, and redact things. And then some people take 10%. Some lawyers. So basically, I need to be a lawyer as well. Yes. Okay, yes. okay yes. love. You can make yes. a lot of money. So basically, yeah. that yeah. you guys just <laughs> entertainment no, law it seems like it's on your path. Like I the love. school that you're coming from, the yeah. work that you're in now, being at USC, you're in LA. Like, yes. are you? This might be too personal to ask, but I'm going to ask anyway. You can love. choose not to answer. Can you mon? Do you monetize off of the talk show that you're on, or is that yes. you just do or away? Yeah. So you can make money off of that. Yes. All right. Love. It's all so right. Fun. I was just trying to see if it was like a fun thing to do or, or like is, she's is this a hobby? A check, or, yeah. yeah, it's a little. It's I get a check. Okay. Um, but it's still fun. Like even if I didn't, I would still do still it. Still do it. Yeah. Absolutely. That's cool. You enjoy it's it. Fulfilling. Back to your question. Yes. <laughs> I do want to go to Pepperdine just because oh, going nice. on the beach. Girl, it is the most beautiful campus. So we got some know. referrals at Pepperdine. I applied there. Yeah. So I went to Westridge I didn't get and in. there's like a. Really <laughs> I didn't get in. You got so sad. Super huge there. Pepperdine family at my school. Like Whoa. all the sisters went to Pepperdine. The dad's on the board. Like. Love. And it's for Sandra. Sandra's Pepperdine. So I'm like. Could give some referrals yeah, that would if you want to ask questions. You know, yeah, that would be great. I mean, at the end of the day, if I don't go, <laughs> then I don't go. Yeah, no, you know, it's just an idea. But it's beautiful. But yes, it would be nice beautiful. to be in Malibu. Oh, no. It's Malibu, right? It is. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's really so we've pretty. talked a lot about work and dreams. What about dating? Yeah. Why was I just gonna? Do you have a dating life? Do you date? I do. I have a boyfriend. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> we hey, have a boyfriend. boyfriend. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the messiest story I think I've ever told. Oh no 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 um, no no. Wait. Not in a bad way. Oh well. Let's, sometimes. Let's hear, let's hear it. it. What's the um, story? I'm basically, ready. the story was it was one of those things where we went to high school together. I knew he was like the player, you know, he's a basketball player, okay. you mm-hmm. know, so he was a, a, little, a little whore. And I was like, okay, ew. And I was yeah. also in dating his teammate at the time. Okay. So I was like, okay, fuck you. And he was like, fuck you. And that was it, right? <laughs> anyway, long yeah. story short, <laughs> um, then we started becoming friends and then we had that toxic stage. Where I was like, oh my god, we love being toxic. It's so fun, and it was like, maybe we should be <laughs> so fun. No. no, it was being in like early college and like just having shit to you know just do and be like, well, you're not gonna leave and I'm not gonna leave, mm. right? So we could do whatever we want, and then we were kind of like, we shouldn't do that anymore because both of us are getting hurt, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, and you have to learn those things. Yeah, you said both of us, are, both getting of us are getting hurt. It's toxic. <laughs> it's Let's- done. No, we're done. <laughs> With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn how to design stunning floral arrangements from Maurice Harris, improve your writing skills from Judy Bloom, or learn how to train your dog from Brandon McMillan, <coughs> Cheyenne and Zach. With over 180 classes from a range of world-class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. When searching through the categories, I learned a lot of new names and saw many useful, intriguing classes. I focused on writing as I've been working on writing children's books with my mom. 
I had a miniature fangirl moment when I saw Judy Bloom's name. I remember reading a few of her books as a young girl with Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret as a standout. I enjoyed her character development, and she's teaching a class on how to invent vivid characters, write realistic dialogue, and how to turn your experiences into stories people will treasure. If you are curious about learning something or in like improving a skill, do yourself a favor and go check out Masterclass. Masterclass is accessible on your phone, web, or smart TV. It offers classes on a wide variety of topics. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long, so it's convenient. Members can explore at their own pace, and each class is supported by downloadable materials, class guides, recipes, or more. You can find everything available at masterclass.com. I highly recommend you check it out. This holiday, give one annual membership and get one free. Go to masterclass.com slash TLC today. That's masterclass.com slash TLC. Terms apply. Ooh, that sounds like music to my ears. Anyone not know what that is? That's another sell on Shopify, the platform trusted by millions of entrepreneurs to create their online store and so much more. Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Whether you're selling sweatshirts or baby clothes, start selling with Shopify and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of businesses worldwide. With Shopify, you'll customize your online store to your brand, discover new customers, and build the relationships that will keep them coming back. Shopify covers all the sales channels to successfully grow your business, from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform even across social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And thanks to 24-7 support and free on-demand business courses, Shopify is here to help you succeed every step of the way. It's how every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with Shopify, and you can too. I love how Shopify makes it simple for anyone like us to sell their products online. If you go to thinkloudcrew.com, you could check out our personal Shopify page. When you're ready to take your idea to the world, do it with Shopify, the commerce platform powering millions of businesses down the street and around the globe. Now it's your turn to try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash thinkloud, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash thinkloud to start selling online today. That's shopify.com slash think loud. It's time to ditch the chemicals with Caraway Homes non-toxic cookware and bakeware collections so you can make healthier cooking a piece of cake. I have a ton of products from Caraway and I absolutely love them. All sets come equipped with easy access storage solutions so that no sacking is required. Gone are the days of misplacing your lids. I'm telling you guys, the storage solutions are a lifesaver. This only happens once a year. Caraway's Cyber Season event is almost here. Save up to 20% on all Caraway products, including their internet famous non toxic cookware set. For the first time ever, you can save on Caraway's food storage, tea kettle, and mini cookware. This exclusive deal won't last long. Make sure you shop your favorite colors and products while you still can. Visit CarawayHome.com to take advantage of their cyber season event and store up to 20% off your next purchase of non-toxic cookware. This deal won't last long, so visit CarawayHome.com to shop all their incredible products for up to 20% off this holiday season. Caraway. 2000, 2008, 2022. When it comes to the economy, those are some scary years. Dot-com crash, housing crash, and the roller coaster we are currently going through right now. One thing is certain, it's a dangerous time to not know your numbers. But over 31,000 businesses have the confidence and clarity they need because they rely on NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system. As entrepreneurs, we are always looking for things to help us know what we're doing as we are building our businesses. And to be honest, NetSuite has really helped bring things in perspective. NetSuite gives you visibility and control of your financials, inventory, HR, planning, and budgeting so you can manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. 
Everything you need all in one place. Come on. So how do you prepare for uncertain times? The answer, NetSuite. NetSuite helps you identify rising costs, automate your business processes, and easily see where to save money. That's why 93% of customers say they improved their visibility and control when they upgraded to NetSuite. So what are you waiting for? Right now, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind special financing program. Head to netsuite.com slash think right now. netsuite.com slash think. netsuite.com slash think. I think, A, I was always grown up to believe that, like, you keep good things private. Okay. And I feel like now, especially in, like, such a social media age where he's, like, a pretty well-known, you know, mm-hmm. person, I just think adding that, like, extra public opinion into a relationship mm-hmm. that's still relatively new, I guess, in you know, the healthy sense. Mm-hmm. I just want to keep some things private. Like, my Instagram is a brand. Like, it's not really mm-hmm. me. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is, but also it's like... It's an extension. Yeah, and so it's like I don't really want to share everything because yeah. you also never know. Like, some people get envious and, like, I'm mm-hmm. going to ruin shit just for fun. Yeah. You know? I'm going to mess with you and you don't know people's intentions. And I believe, like, I'm really... believing like, words and the power of word. And someone could be, like, literally just hating on you, scrolling, and mm-hmm. not knowing that those words have weight to them. Right. And that they're sending ill energy and ill, like... Right. So... I respect it. And it's hard because we've opened up our lives, like our our relationships. And I have like a, I have a different situation. And like people are always like, oh, like I don't I feel like you're settling or I don't like this. We'll do it. I'm like, y'all like, right. That's not it. Right. That's really not it. Like, um, like I'm happy where I am right now. Like yeah. I stand by it. I wouldn't change it. Like. It's my situation. I know what's going on behind closed doors. Right. Like, my guy knows what's going on behind closed doors. Right. Like, we know where we're working towards, and it's it's for us. So, like, part of me wishes that I did keep some things private, but at this point, I'm like, shit, it's all out there. Like, <laughs> it's all out Might there. As well. Now that it's out there, this is our journey, and I'm yeah. just going to do the best I can to, like, share and and share so that other people can learn or feel more confident in yeah. their different or unique situations without being totally overwhelmed by everybody's opinion or yeah. noise or just just not knowing but like yeah. still wanting the best but like just not knowing so i like that i'm not gonna want yeah. <laughs> i like it everybody knows everything about my life yeah. i was gonna say it's <laughs> what it is i can't hide shit even if i tried to hide anything no. it just <laughs> doesn't work but i i guess it's different for me because i'm literally paid to share yeah. so then yeah. i just feel like for me, sharing allows people to relate, yeah. and the good, we share the good, we share the bad. It's yeah. just, it is what it is. What are yeah. some fun things that you and your boyfriend like to do? Oh, that that was a complete 180. I was not ready for that type of question. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, how did you guys I'm trying to, to find some fun things no, for I love. me and my husband to do, so maybe <laughs> you guys so can tell us, ideas. maybe you guys have fun things. <laughs> I'm not you gonna guys lie. are younger and more. Right. Not, but I was about to issue. say something, is, but I can't. It is a long distance <laughs> so relationship. Oh, Lord. So, what state? state is, how did we get there? What state is he in? <laughs> Texas. Oh, well, no. It's, not, it's, it's long distance, but it's travel? not super fast. Do you guys yeah. have like a routine when you travel? No routine because both my, well, first of all, my schedule is so all over the place. Okay. I, like, I'll be like, okay, I have four days free. And it's like, oh, never mind. You know? Right. So Got it's it. like trying to figure it out. But again, we've done it for years. I kind of like it oh. because it gives me the freedom to still Mm -hmm. like be young and explore my life independently Mm -hmm. but I still know that it's like you know he's still there and I'm still there for him Mm -hmm. and so it's nice to kind of know that it's like we are exploring our own lives before we like really lock in and are with each other all the time because how long has he been in Texas he just moved there like a few months ago for school like for like work he plays basketball so he's on a team over there nice yeah so it's fine. Look at me That's trying exciting. to use my brain. What team is in Texas? <laughs> right. Why was I the same thing I said? I know. Y'all were trying to figure oh. out who. Y'all, y'all are not slick. I mean, if it's a college, there's tons Texas of colleges. If okay, can you I mean. tell if this is college or non-college? That's too much. That's too much. She said, but she I said he moved no, over there in the last couple months. I'm the FBI. I can figure it out. 
I can just show you. I can tell you. I feel like we could just at this ask point. offline. I feel like I wanted to test my skills out. Okay, so let, let's go back to happening. Cheyenne. Let's go back to Sierra Canyon. I, a few I know years that's ago. what I was gonna look do. At look at the roster. <laughs> and then look at the roster. God, who's playing ball now? <laughs> who's who okay, might so be known? No. Long distance. How often do you guys get to see each other? Pretty often. I would say like at least once a month or oh, every that's... other month. I at least oh, feel like a really little bit. Good. Yeah. No, yeah, that's it's good. pretty so you good. You guys make it work. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, this is gonna sound maybe like dickish, but thankfully, we both have like the financial ability no, to get on that's flights. Not, that's that's not, real. That's, not that's reality. Is that dickish? <laughs> that you is know. real. Like. And so it's like I feel like that's also another reason why it doesn't feel as. No, you know, it's a blessing to have yeah. the financial. It makes a difference. When I was a senior in high school, my boyfriend was in college and he was out of state. I remember the first time he asked my parents if he could fly me out to come visit, and I was like, "Oh, like you got that money?" Yeah, like, he's like okay, okay, first class pay really like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't yes, first, first class, class, but if that's what you're listen. doing, sis, if, she listen. said. So hey, I'm going to say non-college <laughs> now that we're in first class. <laughs> right? Very, very true. Right. Yeah. Hey. Ding, 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 true. Right? I'm just, I'm just putting it all together. First class, I'm not going to say he's playing college ball. because, And she said he got a little money. So most college basketball players, I'm going to say, don't really don't have, have that money. much money. Unless they, but no, he went they to do Sierra have Canyon. That, what is it? That NIL and, deal? That <laughs> so you're pretty close. <laughs> No, you're, you're the math is mathing over here. The math is mathing over here. The math is definitely mathing. I'm really That's trying. I'm really, really you really trying. are. I see it. No, and you're really cool. I'm getting nervous because like you are going to figure it out. I am. If you just give me about four minutes on my phone, I can, no, you're figuring it out. I can do it. <laughs> I'll wait until after. I'm excited. But it's gonna happen. I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, the greatest I, mystery of it all. Right. I don't Who know. is the boyfriend? Who is this man? Who is this man? Has he ever been on your talk show? No. I've talked about him on the talk show multiple times. Oh. So, so you do talk and about I've him. And I've said his name. Yeah. Oh. oh. But, like, I didn't say, like, oh, that's my boyfriend. Oh, but, but you'll I talk did. about him. Yes. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. Nobody knows. <laughs> Here's the thing. My, my co-host knows him personally, and it's like oh, even your co-hosts don't know your boyfriend. Well, no, they do. Oh, they okay. do. It's just like when I t- I do talk about him on the show, but I'll be like, oh my friend, or like someone I went to high school with, and like yeah. oh my god, they'd be like that's BS. That's, that's so funny. Could thing. you imagine if someone's like, I have this great girl I want you to meet, and they introduce you to your boyfriend? I'd be like, nice to meet. No, literally, I'd just be like, nice to meet you. I'd play it off. <gasps> Why not? That's so hilarious. <laughs> That's a very kinky role playing game. I'm here for it. Hey, hey. I hope That's some, I'm here get for it how you Lord, like it. I pray get somebody it introduces like her it. to her own man so they can have a whole little moment. Jamie, little. did you come from a big family or a small family? Here's the issue it was small. <laughs> Here's the issue. Became big once my dad was like, you know, I'm not done having babies. Uh And so he just kept going. I'm not going to lie. I haven't met some of my siblings. So it's like, it's kind of two of my siblings I haven't met. So it's kind of weird being like, do I call them my siblings? Because it's like, yes, we're blood related. Mm -hmm. But like, I I do do not know you. you. And you do not know me. Mm. That's interesting. So your parents are not together. Thankfully. Okay. Dad Crazy. Has, had, sorry. Had, how many babies? <laughs> she said, "Sorry." Dad how crazy. many babies does Dad have? Um, four or five. Four on I top can't. of you, or on top you? of me? Okay, like baby babies. I'm picturing Both. like infant like babies, old and young. Yeah. Oh, like old the and like young. my oldest sister is 26, and the youngest is like one and a half, two. Oh, oh that's oh, a lot shit. of that's a lot of years daddy, of life. Yeah. And there's also like it's like a running joke in my family of like who knows how many more are out there. Um please laugh. It's like meant to be you funny. Sh- <laughs> Look at me like, are you okay? Oh, no, I'm no, no, no. Three, <laughs> five. Honestly, Cheyenne and I are waiting for someone to pop up. And like, say, I'm your, I'm your brother. No, I'm brother, your but like not be a baby, but be like, I need to show you the DM that I got of someone who was like, had the same last name as me. And he was like, I think we're related. And I was like, this is it. This is someone this this is going there. This is it. This is it. We have <laughs> that way before. I've legit gotten got got those messages. Me. And I'm like zooming into the pictures. I'm like, do you look like my daddy? Like you literally, like, I swear. Right now, it's like, Dad, you know this girl, and he's like, like that's how Parker's where she's gonna be. No, literally, even to the point where like someone was like stuck on telling me like, no, story. I am your sibling, 
and I was like, send me pictures of your mom. Like, yeah. And then the mom got involved. Yes. And then my I dad cannot. got involved, and yes. he was like, I never did that woman. <laughs> like, I'm I did not have sex with her. No. Oh my god. Okay. So how many siblings on your mom's side? Just me. I'm the only one on my mom's side. Oh, okay. And yeah. So that may. Oh, you're not the youngest. Or no. Not the oldest. I mean. I'm not the oldest. I'm like the middle. Ish. Are you close with your dad? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Like we work together, which is crazy. Wait, you work together. What is your dad? Um, he actually, this is the craziest I'm like, part. What did your dad do? He now works on the like, what's it called? The streaming service that my show is on. <laughs> oh, so wow. like we now it's like our only relationship is a work relationship. Is that a good relationship? No, or no. But it's honestly like it's one of those things where we've never had a good relationship yeah. growing up. I don't know how you know, in depth you want me to be, but it just no, never was, you know, and I'm nothing against him. It's like, you know, mental illness is real mm -hmm. and yeah. it does affect people. So it's hard to yeah. look at someone and be like, you are a bad person versus just like right now, you're just not what I need yeah. in a parent mm -hmm. specifically. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of mm -hmm. like grappling with like, okay, well we work together well cool. enough, right. To like still maintain a, some type of relationship, mm -hmm. but it's not like that I can lean on him and like ask Count him, on him, right? It's like emotionally, you know, physically, financially, in any capacity. So it's just like kind of maneuvering through that. Mm. And people are always like, that's you know, that's difficult. Do you yeah, touch on difficult. any of like your family stuff or relationship stuff in your book, or is it solely about like high school? It was mainly just going to be about like my high school and then now college experiences. Mm -hmm. um, Honestly, that like my personal life story is a whole another mess. Did you yeah. Start Sierra Canyon in high school? No, or from the early, early kindergarten. Okay. Yeah, I was so there the whole. Bear. Yes, I got the K bear and everything. Girl, when we're I both like. Okay, I've in heard so much about this damn K bear. I still have it. I, it is my what's most the, prized possession. The K bear. When we did the walkthrough, they were like, the kids in kindergarten get this bear, mm -hmm. and I guess your senior year when you graduate, you're supposed to like walk with the bear or like something yeah. with this bear, mm -hmm. and. What's special about the bear? It's just it shows that you were You're a lifer, lifer at the school. Oh, I love yeah, that. like That's in cute. kindergarten, you like take care of the K bear for a uh -huh. week to like I guess teach kids responsibility, and then when you graduate, mm -hmm. you like get not that K bear, but like the same K bear to take home, and it's like they just yeah signifies that you've been at the yeah. school the whole yeah. time. That's I love cool. that. and it's so fun. Yeah, so you have your K bear. I do. She's in my apartment, you know, Aww. just to remind me like where I came where from, from and you know where I'm going. And I, I always like kind of say like I like to touch grass every once in a while because no matter how good life gets i have to remember where i came from mm -hmm. and how sad i was and how in a dark place i was and how mm -hmm. hard it was to get out of that i was angry Same. i was really filled with a lot of rage i was and anger and i was pissed at the i world. was pissed and for me i've never been in like a physical fight and i honestly feel like i i couldn't because i was so angry i would have just blacked out yeah no like, i fully and understand was, and i didn't even, i didn't know what i was feeling like yeah i was a kid not understanding these things or understanding why i would react certain ways or like right. have certain responses but like in retrospect i'm like wow i was really i was really hurting yeah. um i was really hurting and it's uh it's interesting. Yeah, and it's I think that uh, honestly ties to my book in the sense that's where I got labeled like the angry black woman in like mm -hmm. middle school because I was hurt and I was mad at the world and I was expressing it in ways that I definitely should not have been. Mm -hmm. But I feel like instead of people around me, not saying that it's their job to be like, are you okay? Right. But, you Nobody know, asks. adults just instead of being like, are you okay? They were like, you're a problem like you right. you know what i'm saying and it just continuously made me feel worse about yeah. myself instead of having an adult to be like let me teach you how to deal with this and like how to grow and so i really feel like i had to rely on myself for that mm -hmm. and that's why i like the k-bear because it reminds me of like you know you had yourself when you were a child mm -hmm. yeah. wow, you know yeah. you can have yourself now as an adult you held yourself mm -hmm. up right through your hard times did you leave high school with like friends not yeah you know what i mean like do you look back or and now you're you're two out. So do you have friends from school that yeah. you still? Oh, they're like family to me. We yeah. grew up together. Like yeah. they like at this point we're not even friends. Like I have three people that we were in early kindergarten together, and mm -hmm. we graduated, you know, together. And 
That's went through special. it all. That's Literally went through it all. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I continuously look for friends because I'm like, I have my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that I don't need people. I'll, I love to meet people. But it's like they've been with me. They saw me at my worst. They've seen me at my best. They understand you. You exactly. guys have a shared experience that. that no one will be able to truly understand or Absolutely. grasp. And it's like for me, my friends who came from Westridge, like, I love them. Yeah. I appreciate them. I don't have to talk to them, but like they know me inside and out. Yeah. Like I can have an incident and it could be completely unrelated and they'll know what's going on or like yeah. how I'm feeling in that moment. Yeah. And it's cherish those moments. Like no, cherish those absolutely. people. One thing I always say is like, randomly my our, our first year we all went to different colleges mm -hmm. and like we could just tell like it was hard making friends because you're just so used to hanging out with the same people yeah. every year mm -hmm. so we were constantly like on the phone being like dude we cannot do this like how, <laughs> how do we make friends yeah because we never really had to you I'm know slow. i'm a late bloomer <laughs> i'm like i don't know <laughs> no still to this day could not tell you how to like keep and maintain friends but i'm like maybe we could just you know we have each other and i mm -hmm. feel like that's where my value is and so i'm gonna say in college i haven't really i would say met any like lifelong mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. that was my next question they'll come <laughs> You're, we're right here right now <laughs> they'll come they'll find you like cheyenne she has maybe not because maybe she's not she, I have, like, five you. Months. Maybe she doesn't she's need about to, to be no, done no, no. but you <laughs> have your college friends but cheyenne connected with like two of her they're I have two more sisters, you know, and wow. this came after college. But that was after so it's, college. It's, um, stay open. It'll happen. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, for me, like, I'll tell people straight up, I don't know, like, n not anymore. I'm way different now. But, like, a few years ago, I'd be like, look, I think you're really cool, but I'm a sucky friend. I don't know how to be a friend. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to maintain a friendship. I may not want to talk to you. Don't that's take me. it personally. Yeah. It's just I wouldn't like, want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, oh, and that's not that. That's real. No, yeah, and that's real. Right. And I'm, I don't want to call real. you. No. I don't want to call you. I don't want to see you. I, I, feel feel see I, have, <laughs> I have issues when it comes yeah. to maintaining and same same, sustaining friendships. Like, I've way. had to learn how to maneuver environments on my own. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a... Sorry, guys. I have a random, no, I agree. <laughs> random question. Like, when you started, this has nothing to do with anything, kind of, because we're talking about college. When oh. you started college, was that COVID? Yeah. So do you feel like you had, like, your, you probably didn't, so this might be a dumb question. Did you feel like you had, like, your freshman college no. experience? Because, mm -hmm. right. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. Were, and again, my boyfriend loves to say, like, that was the reason why you feel like you don't have a lot of college friends. And like, I think you that's what that too. crucial like, year. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I kind of agree. I think mm -hmm. so. I feel and I like didn't go to college. Because <laughs> Love. freshman was, year is when you go through, like, that's how pissed I was. No, I completely I was like, understand. I'm not doing this anymore. You're, I'm done. <laughs> Quite frankly. I'm I, done. Hate, I hate school. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to see anyone else. I think else freshman year is when you meet like your people. Uh, yeah, when you because yeah. you're going people. through all this dumb shit together. You're figuring out dorm life. Oh, yeah. You're figuring out how to even find classrooms. You're like maneuvering this new world. Absolutely. So then you like. You see the you girls start at the parties. To, yeah, like you start yeah. to go through yeah. all that mm -hmm. and you find people then. So I would feel like if you didn't have <laughs> that year. It probably, it probably is was, one of the reasons that plays yeah. into why you don't have, like, you know, you feel like you met people. A little late, yeah, because they yeah. were already, like, they had their friend groups. They, they already had their, click, and they right. already doing what they need, yeah. And, it, like, for me personally, I don't want to ever feel like the third person, like, the fifth, because mm -hmm. I was like that in middle school and high school, and I hated it, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like, okay, well, they don't want to hang out with me, so I guess it's like, you want to go to lunch or something? I'll be by myself then. No, literally. and that's I what, will chill right here. And that's what I turned into, so I became, like, hyper-independent. And I was like, well, you're going to be shitty anyway in six months, so why do I want to be friends with you now? It's a waste of my time. Which is right. bad. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> don't be don't like do me. that. Don't do that. And then you end up being the shitty one. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> Hello. And then I become like too low maintenance of a friend where I'm like, we yeah. just talked like seven months ago. What, like, what's the issue? And they're like, dude. Seven what? months ago. <laughs> when, no, is, when, when is your birthday? I didn't talk January. To you. Oh, Ooh, January eighth. I'm September so 8th. Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, he's a Capricorn. Yeah. I'm a Virgo. I feel like Capricorns and Virgos. We get along. We get along. We so I, I I heavily relate to you right now. No, yeah. And I just want you to know it I does love. get easier and it Thank does get you. better. And you have that opportunity. Like, I'm happy that you're writing about it and like you're purging it a lot earlier than I did. Um, Thank you. But the nice thing is, 
you can change it. Like you can Literally. change your narrative whenever you want. Right. And you're obviously smart. You're a beautiful Thank girl. You. Like Thank people you. are gonna want to be your friend. Be open. That's so. what my mom always says. My mom will be like, "Girl, these girls want to be your friend. It's you. Like get over it. Whatever you are feeling, get over it. Like yeah. that's not who you are. Like yeah. So just yeah." Thank you. It yeah. was definitely Thank you. Oh yeah, I know it was me. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Like, and don't forget I'm one of those it. Who <laughs> no, like it's you. It. I'm one of those people who got the accountability it's partner. It's not it you. It's honestly you. really me. Like no, absolutely. And I'm like, me. I'm taking responsibility, but I don't know what to do with it, so I'm just gonna leave. Bye. Hope you have a great time. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Like I'm you saving and this you from peace sign has been right. your go-to this episode. Okay, every week we like to end our podcast with either asking to share a WTF moment from your week or okay. advice. It's really like yeah. A or Z. It's like, what the fuck? Shannon, or, you want to start? Here's some good stuff. No, because last time people are attacking me saying I give too this, much self-care. Who cares what people wait, say? Wait, wait, what? Really? Who cares? Can we give a different advice? You're always giving <laughs> self-care, self-love advice. Like, yeah, I saw that came in. Sharon, I mean, Shannon well, maybe, always did it just saying that. that I mean, it. Need. It's on YouTube. I'm like, Shannon maybe gives I advice need. that she needs to take for herself. Exactly. I'm giving y'all advice that I need right now, okay? <laughs> so okay. do you want to give us some self-care, self-love? Nah, I don't. Please. Okay. <laughs> um... I really want to share a WTF <laughs> All right. that happened this weekend. Or was it this weekend? If it's the same WTF <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, I would love for you to share it. I don't want to share it. Come on. But, I want to hear um, it. I don't want to uh, I don't, I don't I don't throw have, myself into the bus. I don't have anything right now. What have you? Damn it. <laughs> okay, I've got a WTF. So it's a mom WTF. I never had any like moments like with my kids doing anything weird with poop. Sorry, it's a little weird. Like, I've had friends with a kid. Charnel was on here. Her son pooped in her shoe. Like, kids pulling a turd out. Kids, like, you know. Zaire pooped in the bathtub um, when I was giving him an ace a bath. <laughs> Sorry. That is, <laughs> and it was like, a lot. The way she got it out. Zaire pooped in the bathtub. <laughs> he pooped in the bathtub. I'm washing ace. And I look over. I'm like, oh, what's that? And then I was like, ah! <laughs> I, like, literally, like, oh, got ace, ace and out. They were in the same bathtub. And, like, oh no. oh, no. But then I had to, like, do the whole, like, clean the tub, wash my kid's body again and all this stuff. And I was trying to put him to sleep. It was a house full of people. I was all over the place. And then I was just like, poop. <laughs> poop. But yeah, that was my WTF. <laughs> Poop. What the fuck? <laughs> Just, That's my what the fuck moment yeah. from that. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, literally. Come on, Shannon, share your uh-uh. WTF. Come please. on. You're, I know what on. yours is, and I really want you to share it. Shannon had a real spicy weekend, you guys. <laughs> the weekend was so spicy. Hey, I want to know. We too went now. to a beautiful. No, let Shannon do what it. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm opening the door so you walk through. All right. She's well, walking. Yeah, I went to a baby off. shower. It was beautiful. Saw a guy that I talked to at the baby shower. I was really excited to see him. We've talked about him on the podcast. We've talked about him on the podcast. Um, and, you know, we went to an after party at Shy's. Wow. And so I was really excited. He was coming because it, everybody from the baby shower was going to Shy Ann's house. And I was like, okay, cool. Bet nobody else is going to be there. Ooh. Pulled up. And I saw a car. A car <laughs> that's very distinctive. A car that I know that I've date like talked to this boy and I like him too. At Cheyenne's house. And I'm like, Wait, in, holy fuck. In the driveway. In, like he, yes, like he's the, home. Yes. <laughs> Bro, in the car, bold. in the driveway. Bold. Holy fuck, because I know the other guy that I'm talking or talk to or like <gasps> is no. on his way. And I'm like, holy fuck. Cheyenne gets out the car. She just Were you guys in the car together? Me. No. Oh, okay. But we pulled, pulled up at the same time. time and Cheyenne I saw the car looks too. at me and goes, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was in the car and with my mom. Not too. <laughs> and so then I pulled up and I'm like, gosh, oh, shit. <laughs> and I'm like, Cheyenne, what do I do? She was like, ha ha. She just keeps laughing at me. She was like, girl, I don't know. I literally cracked up at Shannon because she was just laughing at I me could the- feel the energy. And she was skipping in the house thinking, ooh, you know, the guy I was right. with is coming to the thing. And then she saw that stupid ass car. She was like, ooh. You don't want to like, get oh, caught up. What do so, I do? And I go in the house. Luckily, the other guy pulls up later. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, what the fuck can I do? 
do. Right. <laughs> and I can just hug everybody. And, all- like, I give him the biggest hug. And then I just go like this, like Homer Simpson. Like, <laughs> I'm just laughing because crazy. Wait, I, I was just in the go car back with- in the bushes. I was in the car with mom when and we I just pulled drink up. My, I, just, I just get a shot, get drinks. And I'm like, what the fuck? The other guy pulls up and he is really touchy-feely. So I'm like, eh. mm-hmm. Uh, don't touch me. <laughs> I'm dying. Y'all, Our I could not lit. stop she staring at Shannon over. throughout the night, and I would see her try to maneuver and work the room. Yes. And I'm like, girl, this I was working is the room. I was just some with my girls. spicy shit. <laughs> I was with the girls the whole night. I'm like, I, mom was uh, watching. I was watching. Everyone was mom watching. Mom and I, we pulled up together, and she saw the car. She said, she said, ooh, Shannon's about to have a good time. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Mom. I'm so Mom. happy you shared it. That was my WTF. I love. I have a WTF. Single this life. Week. Single life is fun. My sometimes. son has it found is. Life his is penis. Fun. Oh yeah. What happened? Ace has found his penis, yep. and it's very disturbing. Yep. I'm used to vaginas. <laughs> I've dealt with vagina my whole life. Penis. Writer has a vagina. Love it. Ace has a penis, and it's scary. It's so scary. It is scary. You're like, stop touching me. Yes. So the the other day, this is my debut tip. The other day, I'm making dinner. I'm making dinner. You know, my back is turned. But Ace is just running around doing Ace. And all of a sudden, all I hear is like, and like he's like making weird noises. I'm like, what the fuck is this boy doing? And I turn around. He's standing on the middle of the mm-hmm. dining room table, which is humongous, by the way. We just got it. It's humongous. He's in the middle of the table? He's in the middle of the table. Diaper is off, and he's touching his penis and, like, pulling it. And yeah. it's, it's a baby penis, and that thing is stretchy as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck is he stretching it like that? And he's like, blah, 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 and he's stretching this penis out. And I'm just like, hey, get off the fucking table. Like, I'm going crazy because I'm like, okay, you can't disturbing. run towards him right. because you don't want him to make any sudden movement and try to like right. run off the table right. so I'm going very slow <laughs> and trying not to laugh or do any weird movements because I don't want him to do any and he's wild just thornberry pushing, is pulling that thing yeah so uh, having a great time he's found his penis babies get baby boners it's just yes. all a lot to handle. I didn't know boys get boners yeah. from birth like Girl. I just I learned that know. about ten seconds ago. So yeah, yeah wow. they're baby boners. But she said, "Wow, it's I, like a little thing, like looking at you, and you're like telling it to lay down, and it's like and it nah, doesn't want it's, to. It's, nah. it's chilling where it's at. Yes, super hard. So my mm. WTF is what With the fuck? Baby carrot vibe. Ace has it's a very penis. interesting. It's not my vibe. All right, right. you're our closer. Advice or WTF? Listen, um, I was actually just telling Travis about how. Uh, Because I live in downtown near USC, and downtown is insane. Like, you have to deal with so much. (laughs) And so just one of the, like, most recent things that we've had to deal with in our building is, uh, like, this homeless lady has just been coming in and just, like, taking everyone's things. Like, if if she sees you walk in your apartment, she will just, like, like, go in right after you. With you? you? Yes. Like, she owns the place. So one time, I'm, like, coming home from class. I'm... In a bad mood, and I'm just trying to get in my door. (laughs) I might have gone off. This actually just happened on Friday. I'm just trying to walk home, and she pulled, like, pushes the door from behind me, and she just goes in and starts opening the fridge. (gasps) I'm like, bitch, (laughs) bitch, get out my fridge. Who paid for that? Because it wasn't you. And so she's, and so me, I have four roommates, and me and my other roommate were there, and we're like, dude, what do we do? (laughs) Like, how do you? Like, we're like, (laughs) ma'am. It's, it's time to, and we're not the first person that this happened to. Ma'am, get out my house. Literally, like, it's it's a her thing. Like, sh- it's just her thing. And I don't know why she loves not our building thing. so much. Maybe she, she dirty. lived there before. That's what I'm saying. Like, or, like, lives <laughs> around. Isn't it she dirty? No, <laughs> no, but, like, unfortunately, like, yeah, you could tell that she, like, doesn't have a stable living situation. Mm-hmm. So part of you is, like. Does she talk? No. Mm. So that's why you're kind of, like, mm, like, Okay, I so what'd bad. you do? So we just called security and we're like, hey, can we have someone like escort mm-hmm. her out? Because like we, we've honestly felt bad. Like if someone yeah. is like that bold enough to like steal from college kids, like you obviously <laughs> need yeah. it more than I do, to be right. honest. Right, all right, take my food. I would have so probably been point, like, let me make you a bag. No, so like whatever she had in her hands, we were just like. <laughs> it's yours. Yeah, it's yours. And so now we just like have to lock our doors better, walk in the door faster. I don't know. But like we're not mm-hmm. the first apartment that this has happened to. Um, so that's also why we're kind of like. What that's do you do? Bold. That's different. It's that bold. Is definitely, a weird but it's like moment. it's a downtown thing. I, I don't know any other city. I um, feel like can that. everybody please play for Jamie's safety? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because downtown is 
no joke. It's no joke. Yeah. And, and it's it changed like so much. Yeah, I can tell the difference between no, dog disgusting. pee and, and human, <laughs> human pee. pee. And it's human. Pure human. And it's human. <laughs> Jamie, so we human. thank you for coming on. No, thank we're you. Gonna, you have to come back because we're going to need an update about when your book is out mm-hmm. yes. and about the boyfriend in Texas that I know. I'm going to research. No, find. I'll just show you one right after. I want to play the game. Okay, we'll play the <laughs> game. I want to play the yes, game. Yes, thank you for coming on and no, joining you. our mad, or well, not madness. No, this was fun. Kind this was madness. Madness. Our precise chaos. Where can people uh, follow you at? Um, You can follow me on Instagram at Jamie Dubos uh, with two E's after Jamie. And then where can they watch your talk show at? You can watch The Mix on Fox Soul every Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's live, and they do have reruns as well. It's yes. live? It is. Oh, so that's scary. I know. <laughs> oh, hell no. I it's, no, it's scary. Like, you have to watch what you say. Yes. I was going to say, like, yes. no cussing so no. and watch what you say. That's why, yeah, so I was like, I love being on podcasts because I'm like, you can edit it. Like, I don't right. have to be like, yeah. oh, my we're, gosh. And we're Wait, you can't curse on Fox Soul? No. Oh. oh. You could cuss on Are there. you are oh, fired. Yeah, they wouldn't like <laughs> no, They wouldn't like us. Oh, they're like, really? We're going to have to pay for it now? And it's like, I'm sorry. I don't know yeah. what you want me to do about that. Yikes. All right, y'all. We hope you guys have a good week. Don't forget to follow us at the Think Loud Crew on Instagram and on YouTube. And you can follow me at Shy Not Shy. And please continue to watch Teen Mom on Tuesdays because we need better ratings. What time does it come on on Tuesdays? I don't know. Oh. Um, like 8 o'clock, maybe? Okay, love. Maybe 8 o'clock? Let me look. Just check like the TV it's listing. It's Tuesday guide. now. I should know. Y'all go. Oh my God. And you can follow me <laughs> at Hair by Shannon C. <laughs> and you can follow me at R. Kyle Lynn. And thank you. Y'all. We'll see you thank next you. week. Thank you. Thank you. It's at 8 o'clock on Tuesdays. <laughs>When it comes to the economy, those are some scary years. Dot com crash, housing crash, and the roller coaster we are currently going through right now. One thing is certain, it's a dangerous time to not know your numbers. But over 31,000 businesses have the confidence and clarity they need because they rely on NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system. As entrepreneurs, we are always looking for things to help us know what we're doing as we are building our businesses. And to be honest, NetSuite has really helped bring things in perspective. NetSuite gives you visibility and control of your financials, inventory, HR, planning, and budgeting so you can manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. Everything you need, all in one place. Come on. So how do you prepare for uncertain times? The answer, NetSuite. NetSuite helps you identify rising costs, automate your business processes, and easily see where to save money. That's why 93% of customers say they improved their visibility and control when they upgraded to NetSuite. So what are you waiting for? Right now, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind special financing program. Head to netsuite.com slash think right now. netsuite.com slash think. NetSuite.com slash think.